Thank you. Okay, alright. Welcome to another episode of my Survival World series with crazy mobs on my roof. Um, my texture pack is updated with uh, jungle trees, jungle saplings, everything that's new in this update. Um, I did have a problem yesterday though where the jungle saplings were so big and purple. Oh no. Haha. <laughs> he was trying to get me too. He saw me. I guess through this glass missing. But I had plans for today besides staring at mobs on my roof. And they'll begin by going. There's creepers all over the place. Is my sheep still there? Come on, sheep. Yes, it's still up there. <laughs> since 1.8, since months and months ago when I was first came here, that sheep is still there. I believe that cow is new, from what I remember. And I know there's a sheep behind the other sheep right over there. <laughs> oh, but uh, new things in this area include the glass layer is a few blocks lower. I believe three layers lower. It's taking forever. <laughs> and this walkway is complete all the way to the entrance. And this bridge goes all the way to 1.7 right next to my ice place. But it was broken in the new patch. You might have seen this road before. Dokken has it. I first originally saw it in a video by Bifa. Which is in a video response for. Yeah. What was I going to say? A video response for Seth Bling's video about transportation. But it's broken. Can't go. Used to be able to go 30 blocks per second and you'll get there faster than the chunks could load. It's pretty crazy and I loved it. Used it a lot. But now all those pistons, they're all going to be ripped down because it's broken and yeah. But well, at least I have a ton of pistons now. <laughs> and the road is heavily treed and vined up. And that's because this design I felt was very, very cost efficient. Uh, most fast transport systems horizontal need a lot and a lot of pistons. This one just needed regular pistons and not that many at all. Like four for every five squares or something, which is very, very efficient. And that's why I made all the trees. So this was going to be my green road. A like very efficient green road. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> but there, and it goes all the way down to the floor and you could climb vines now. <laughs> You could also sneak on vines that aren't on the ground. This is what I find very cool. You could sneak and then float. And this would be... I'm interested to see how this works in parkour. You have to kind of like stay floating on it. Holding shift to reach the end before falling on the ground. You can't really have lava because then it would just burn the whole thing. But yeah. I'm excited for that. I might expand on it in the Race for Wool too. Um, maybe a sequel to Divided Together as a wool that doesn't have many blocks you could place. Yeah, that's an idea I had with the vines. I, I like it. <laughs> you could also use it to stop a fall by like trying to has half hazardly catch the vines in it in midair or it could use it as a normal safe fall like just fall right next to a block that has vines on it things like that um i would say the thing i've been most busy on since last time is the hall of subscribers yeah <laughs> i upgraded it from a wall to a hall h-a-l-l -L. And they have 
official entrances now. Yeah, there's two of them. And there's a courtyard in the middle with trees going up the sides, mini fountains, a little bench. Gravel I don't need anymore. There we go. The original wall right here, still the same. Cool. And then this huge open courtyard. Well, it's open as of now. It'll be covered, but like, it'll go up quite a bit to uh, mirror the walkways, which is double layered now. Let's go up this ladder. Yeah, this is double layered now, so I could have another row of subscribers up here if I need. Trees going through the walls. And, yeah. Um. Another cool, one of my favorite features that might go underlooked by most is when you craft half slabs, you now get six instead of three. That's pretty sweet. It's actually much, much easier, better. I love it. Like more than, more than what most would think. But this pool is not just like hollowed out, but it's actually the walls and floors completely obsidian. And then the top bits are all lapis blocks, which use every single bit of lapis on my world. Even had to go strip mining for extra. And I love its looks. It looks very deep with the obsidian. And then has a nice touch with the lapis ore. I should probably uh, remove that, la uh, that obsidian and the obsidian you saw over there, maybe. Just so it could be lapis on the top row completely. Where is it? Right there. But yeah. And I died a few times. Is this the right pick? Yep. Um, this way. Let's put these back. I also used nearly every bit of mossy. Which is why I added this pool in the first place. You can see it's just sitting right there. But I found a ravine and fell twice down there. Um, there's a sandstone pillar where I pillared back out. There's lava nearby. Yeah, we have a ravine right beneath the hall, which I think has some cool possibilities. It might. This might be the ravine I used my chest room for. If I ever make it, or if I ever have the inclination to make it. Because it is much closer, and it's through my hall, which is cool. Much better than just a long trek through a minecart station. Annoying. Bit of business there. But instead, it's through a hall, and you ran to it, and much better. Um, the desert's coming down quite nicely. I like to mine it out piece by piece and shovel it out piece by piece. I know that you could go beneath it and use a torch trick to save you some tools, but uh, that doesn't really interest me. I like I like the uh, going through it piece by piece bit. It's kind of relaxing and not no annoying like beefing Enderman. Yeah, it's mind numbing and I like it for that reason. I also, in this episode, the main purpose was to go exploring, and I have a deleted video, and I deleted it because it was pretty bad, in my opinion. Um, I actually walked this whole road back. I don't know why. Uh, it was right when 1.2 was introduced, and it was 1.2.2 still. And I've just found out that was indeed broken, so I was kind of frustrated about that, I guess. But I also went, wanted to go Ender, uh, Ender what? <laughs> Stronghold hunting using the Eye of Ender, but the eyes point to 1.7 generated terrain, which is pretty much straight that way. I don't want to throw it because I don't want to waste this, but 
like a few blocks down and then straight that way. Right in between 1.7 and 1.8. Kind of annoying. You go to sleep and then hit off. But I do want to find a stronghold soon. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. Like I hate it. I've been boycotting it since it first came out. Never went into. Uh, I went into it to work on a map, but it didn't really work out in the end. More melons. <laughs> But, I did not de defeat the dragon. I actually, once I entered it, I actually went into MC Edit and deleted all entities, including the dragon. Yeah, I'm very anti-ender monster, ender mob, whatever you want to call it. But since creepers seem to be spawning everywhere now, let's go to sleep. Texture pack is updated. You can eat in bed if you hold right click while you're in bed. Um, that doesn't work on multiplayer though, because you actually enter the chat screen. Um, but I think we're ready to head off. Ender pearls, blaze rods, torches. But our mission is to find a stronghold biome. <gasps> you can see the ceiling. You can see the ceiling on smooth light. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm glad I took the time to turn on a smooth stone. Except the very end. But you can see it through the light. Yeah. Check that out. No, that never happened before. But our goal is to find... You can sneak through that. Uh, NPC village. And a jungle biome. And another misplaced door. There we go. And get far enough away from the pseudo stronghold to be able to use a real eye of ender and it goes in a new direction, hopefully. And the best way I think to do that is this direction because we already have a way out. That was the first thing I built in this area. If you don't, if you haven't seen season two, I think it's actually delisted, so I don't think you could see season two. But. We'll head out this way because it's this way. It should be ungenerated terrain right after this desert. Um, a desert that went untouched. I haven't gone this far, so I should already be generating it. Hopefully. I see a swamp and a taiga. We are in a desert. I love this F3 where you can see the biome you're in beneath the coordinates. There's also my seed, but then again, this is a mix-up world with now four piece, four different types of generation going on. What's going on over here? This is where all my mobs ran off to, it seems. <laughs> Say they spread like wild, uh, ran like wildfire, but. I also made 64 jack lanterns just because I can. Um, we have a forest right here. In a swamp. Hey, I wonder if this swamp has lily pads. Because I have not seen one in this world yet. Uh, the swamp right next to my place was made in 1.8 where there were no lily pads yet. So, lily pads? Proof that this is new lands? Nope. Oh, here we go. Ragged chunk border. Yep, that, that equals new lands to me. Right, pig? <laughs> Piggy. Yeah, if you don't know, I went to Minecon because I live in Vegas. And it was a lot cheaper without the planes, the room, all that stuff. But... Let's move on. We are in new lands. This border doesn't seem as rugged as before. Um, it seems kind of smooth at points, like right over there. If that even is the border right over there. 
But we are definitely in new lands. So let's move on. Um, the fight is an axe because I don't have a sword. Even though I do have, thanks to all the ship mining for the lapis, and since lapis seems to be more rare than diamonds, I have about 80 some diamonds. 86, I think, total. Now that looks cool. That little bit of overhang. Looks like an extreme hills edge without the extreme hills right next to it. Lily pads. <laughs> awesome. Oh, they're popping off because of the ice. I should grab that before it pops off. There we go. And this one too. It's slowly generating because I'm recording at the same time. And it has been a little bit laggier. Especially when I record. Um, I will complete CTM maps and such in 1.2. Where I which where I started playing them, like uh, Cold Depths and Deadly Dream. So, and they're coming. I I actually have a lot of Deadly Dream stuff recorded, just not up yet. Um. Hello, sheep. Are you seeing a jungle biome anywhere? Or an NPC village? My file size is getting huge, so I want to find them quickly. So, random seed. Um, that's a huge tree. Not a jungle tree. And right over here seems to be ocean. Hmm. We are in swampland still. Lag spike! Two frames per second. Woohoo! Not even 20 normally. That's not good at all. Another lag spike. This is generating train, which is the cause, but it's not good anyways. I did find a stomp biome, which is good. I did want to hunt down lily pads. But... We're in a normal forest now. Um, we will not try to train a kitty this episode. That might be next episode. And I have fish. Because I don't have any fish. I don't think I ever made a fishing rod. Let's go along the chunk... Uh, not chunk borders. The biome borders. Um, seems like the best way. Ooh, is this a river? we we'll go along river instead. This is not a river at all though. Another swamp. Laggy generation. Let's go. This way. Hey. Hey, hey. I think I'm definitely far enough away now to, well, not definitely, but, excuse me, much further than to use this, I mean, yeah, I'm far, I'm, I feel far enough away that I could use this safely now, hey, there's dogs, 
I wonder where new fan is. <laughs> new fan's my dog, but he disappeared. No, he didn't run away. He was sitting down in my doghouse, but in 1.7 lands, and then I came back. He was just gone. Poof. Now I'm a nice owner. I made him a doghouse. He wasn't in a pit. I hope I'm a nice owner. <laughs> hey. Hey, I see bright green. Bright green. Yeah. Is this the bright green I'm looking for? I think tall trees. Yes, here we go. Awesome. We have the jungle biome. And there's some zombie noises. Yeah. How are you liking it, dog? Doggy. So, and a brown sheep. Naturally occurring brown sheep. You saw it. Brown sheep still occur naturally, as do pink sheep, which you also saw in my videos. Two brown sheep? It is two brown sheep. Oh, the wolves. The wolves will kill him. No! 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 No, doggy! No! Oh, dog! I don't want to... No! Oh, dog! Oh, no. That was a sad sight to see. Just look at this place though, it's a mess. This is one of the messiest jungles I've seen, actually. It just seems, this all seems to be like normal trees, but they've all been converted vines and bright green textures, which I love. Let's go up, if we can. It's really laggy now. More vines to climb. NPC village, where are you? Just keep going up. This has to be a tall, a tall jungle too for a tree to like begin up here. It's like on top of a mountain already. Yeah, see, look at that mountain. And that's why I'm lagging. Stuff like that. But this seems to be a huge jungle biome and I like it. Um, I do have a trick to show you. Ah, dang it. Um, let's. I need a saplings though. Ah, uh, and bones. Ah. But, if you have an open area of dirt, one jungle sapling, and three of any other types of saplings, and like you place. The three, any other saplings right there, and then the jungle sapling right here, and then bone meal on the jungle sapling. It actually grow one of these big trees. Um, it's might be knowledge, common knowledge that you need four jungle saplings and two by two to grow the big trees, but maybe not the fact that you only need one jungle sapling in the end. And you actually get like eight more jungle saplings, so it's one way to actually farm them, since they are quite rare. Rare. They are rare drops, as I found on SMP vanilla server. I'm working on a sky base on there, actually. I'm not sure what to do on this world. I do want to play around with the sky limit. Just not sure how. 
seems to be a mountain biome over there. So we have a border. Some crazy stuff going on in there with the biomes. NPC villages tend to be found in deserts, though. I mean, I haven't seen any one anywhere else but a desert. And no ocelots yet, but it is night time. And I just started. I'm not too worried about that, because jungle biomes did spawn. And I didn't have to do any tricks to get it. MBT edit type tricks, I mean. Ooh, saplings. That's good. A lot of saplings. What's going on? This is, my, this is the type of lag I'm having. And maybe all these leaves, too. Thought I heard mobs. Look at this. Oh, there's one. This is a pretty cool road. Yeah, I'm lagging out because of all the saplings and stuff. All the leaves. And recording at the same time. And it's only a laptop, which doesn't have quite the same capabilities, even though this is a pretty beast laptop. Um, but NPC Village... See, even apples are dropping. What type of generation is this, bro? It's decaying as soon as you walk into it. Now look at that tree. Ooh, a cave. And <laughs> it turns into a mountain biome just for that cave, too. It's <laughs> oh, biomes. Even if this does change from something else, eventually I will still have the jungle saplings and... Look at this. Oh, I thought that was just floating there. Hung by down by vines. That'd be cool. Is there vines down there? Oh, this is a mess. Trees are still decaying. All right, we have mountains. But I love the green of the uh, jungle. We have a river, mountain, jungle, river. That looks cool. Trees right there, seed right there. Dead skelly, one shot. Thank you, boat. Power four. Let's go along the river, I guess. This looks crazy cool, though. You seem to be impeding on the... Oh, this river ends. I don't know what about mobs, but they don't seem to see me anymore. You know, they just, like, stand there and don't see me until I actually hit them. And they do a little trolley dance to, when they use their pathfinding al algori algorithm or something. They kind of like, whoa, wh which way do I go? Okay, this way is the shortest way. <laughs> That's what I think of it when I see the little trolling about going on. But I don't see an NPC village yet. Don't think I will in this biome either. It does seem kind of flat for a mountain. Though I actually don't know how tall we are right now. Okay. Feeling I know. What, you can't find me? There's no shortest path for you. 
I saw a creeper go around a lava fall and but apparently you can't even climb the hill. Look at all the passive mobs though. Here we go. Hmm. I would really like to see NPC Village somewhere other than the desert though. To be perfectly honest. Where is the nearest desert cow? Don't turn your back on me. Have you ever watched The Lion King? Never turn your backs on an enemy. And I should be considered an enemy because I have an axe. <laughs> Elf with an axe. Dangerous business, gals. Dangerous business. But you shall live another day, for I'm a Minecraft vegetarian. Say, I eat bread and melons. All right, my file size has to have doubled by now. <laughs> um, I am kind of traveling off path to create an L type shape, even if it can't not a full, even if it's not a full L. But yep, we found an ocean. I could probably turn it into a whole city. And it's easy to get started, you just need a bucket of lava and then you pour it on top and it creates a smooth stone formation, a uh, smooth stone on the top layer. Which is pretty cool. Might want like two or three buckets though to get started. But yeah, that's ocean for sure. So, this way. Which is still further from my pseudo stronghold. I could probably test it now. Uh, yeah, let's actually test it on this little island. Dang it, it's still going to the fake one. Which means the real one has to be at least that. Another, a real one has to be at least between there and here far away. Just quite a ways. Though that does leave quite a bit of room for finding a NPC village. Whoa. <laughs> it looks like an MC edit brush. I've heard that MC Edit has a stable version for the Anvil setup. Well, no, not a stable version at all, actually. But what's going on? But uh, officially unstable, but pretty solid version of Anvil, MC Edit for Anvil, which is cool. Um, I might use Voxel Sniper, which I heard is also updated for any map making I do. Just because I find it easier to do it in game, because you actually get um, a good sense of how big something is when you make it in game, it's right literally right there. Um, yeah, so I prefer that that route. Uh, but we could see an ex Ooh, I'm starving here. And lavas make sound, which I love. Yeah. <laughs>
You can see it forms smooth stone when it touches a lot water, which is pretty awesome because you could like make all this land smooth stone pretty quickly instead of water, a mini lake. But it actually looks pretty cool that lake. So the jungle's to my right. Probably should have recorded the. Mm, what's the coordinates for it? Whoa, look at that. Whoa, I almost went straight into it. I wish I had feather falling, but I can't get it. I think I'm getting. I'm using too high of a level though, honestly. But. Level 40s with diamond and gold boots. I tested it out. You cannot get feather falling on those. At all. Um, I use a full double chest of boots. <laughs> and creative, and with the experience command. But still. Pretty, pretty ridiculous, if you ask me. You should be able to like request enchantments. That way, you can actually like work towards something instead of work towards something random. Or at least like a creative scroll wheel. Scroll wheel. Ooh, is this another jungle? It's certainly a jungle, and I don't remember it coming this coming out this far because I was pretty much at the edge. Yeah, this looks like another one. Awesome. That was not a sprint jump. Holy cow! This is crazy. It's a ravine that just dissected a pool in half. That's crazy. Look at this. Look at this. It's just like it's supposed to be one deep water right here, but it just goes floop. Nope. What's on this side of it? Whoa, it goes this way too. And it looks like it has another breach down there. Just look at that. It's, it's pretty cool. Let's get out of here. Yeah, the breach is right here, looks like. Some crazy stuff when you go exploring. I don't want it. That breach, we've seen it. Where's this NPC village? All I'm getting is more. More jungles, which is cool. And. Just okay at the same time. Now we have jungle. Uh, swamp jungle trees. Trees. And a oasis. Hello. You apparently found shade in time. Or snuck out of a, a cave. And then found shade. Come on, please stop. Okay, I'm working my way there. 
best I could do at this moment. I like how it seems that light glitches seem to fix themselves now. Instead of you needing to update it with a torch or something, they fix themselves a bit. Like you saw that a glitch in the water there fix itself. NPC village. Okay, is this a river? It feels like it, and then it feels like it's a bit too wide. We're going on the land though. I just really should have brought some speed potions. Now that I think about it. But then again, I never even built a potion stand on this world. Though I can now. Yeah. Another pack of wolves. Don't kill any more brown sheep. It's a desert. Oh, that was that would be epic if there's a NPC village and then a jungle biome that intersects it or vice versa, and then I could build the NPC village into the jungle. Come on, village. This is unexplored desert because the cactus is ungrown. That, that's a word, right? Ungrown. <laughs> oh. This video is quite a long one. Which is more, more jungle over there. But I wanted a longer one. Because I haven't recorded in this world in a while. I needed an update. And it's becoming night again. But. There doesn't seem to be any village in this part of the desert. So we'll go back I guess. And search this desert. See if we can't. But this jungle biome is pretty massive. This I found like four already. I felt like I found four jungle biomes. Let's see if there isn't one over here. So if you do that little dance thing or something to calculate their paths. It's kind of weird. Although it shouldn't be looking for the village now and night. Because then the hunt begins for villagers. And they am on hard so they can't even hide in their houses. But nope. The quest for the village, we'll have to go for another time, I think. This has been a bit too long, maybe. Um, I have no problem with uploading a longer episode, though. I think my internet can handle it. Especially if I record, uh, upload all night. I mean, if Ethan could do it, so can I. I record in HD, though. I upload it at least 720. Um, Cause I know some like it, even though I always watch in 360 and find it perfectly fine for Minecraft. But I guess others like it, so I'll upload it for them. Um, Yeah, I just seem lost now. Because I am. Let's go back to that river, I guess. And go along it. Or I'll keep looking. Um, thanks for watching this episode.
Danger. Whoa, uh oh. Ah, oh, we have a blood bow. I'm not taking that bow. I hate that part of the update. It's a fiery passion. <laughs> Stupid, rare drops. I hate them. But yeah, to end on that uh, lovely, lovely note. I will say, this is done gone. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.